Good morning. It is isolation day two. I am heading into school to work with a bubble in just over an hour, so I need to get my breakfast ready. Um, apparently the announcement of whether or not this is going to continue is not coming until 5.30 tonight, so I guess at school we're going to have to get all the books ready and send them out anyway, because if we don't and we end up going into level four, um, then we won't be able to. So we were going to wait until the announcement to find out if we actually needed to or not, but we're not going to have time. 5.30 is too late to um, be going into school and getting stuff like this done, so I wish the announcement was coming earlier, but oh well. I'm going to have um, porridge for breakfast again. Boring. I know, it's a bit boring, but it's cheap. And I'm wearing like comfy but still like put together clothes for school, so I've got my Topshop raw hem straight leg jeans and this is a big oversized jumper from ASOS that Jonathan got for me in the husband buys my ASOS haul video we did like last lockdown. It's maths week this week so I'm just putting up some of the maths week challenges onto my Google Drive for my class to have a go at. They change every day. So I'm putting the Friday ones up now. And then because we were at school on Monday, Tuesday, I wasn't doing maths week with my own class. So I'll put up the Monday, Tuesday ones for Monday, Tuesday next week if we're still in lockdown. And there are different levels on here as well. So the kids can kind of pick one that's right for them. All right, I'm ready to head into school. It's pretty cold today, so I've got my jacket as well as my thick scarf. Um, when we went into the shopping yesterday, because we don't have masks yet, we have ordered them but they haven't arrived. So yesterday I wore a really thin scarf and just like wore it over my nose and mouth like this. Um, but today it's quite cold so this is like my big thick blanket scarf which hopefully will keep me nice and warm and also um, I don't know if I'll wear it up when I'm at school but I don't know if I feel like I need it then I will. I don't know what we're doing about the books. There's a possibility that we're going to be dropping the books to the students actual houses so if I end up doing a run where I'm actually going to people's houses I will definitely have my scarf up to keep everyone safe. I guess I will catch you when I get back from school. Don't know how long it's going to be but I'll update you when I get back. It's three o'clock. I just got home. I think it's three o'clock anyway. I have not had lunch. Um, actually, no, it's only half past two, but I haven't had lunch, so I'm getting myself some noodles ready and a little Fanta. I looked after the bubble for a couple of hours. We're doing it differently this time from last time. So last time we had one or two teachers that were on the bubble and that was it. Like we just had the bubble continuously, but now we're kind of rostering everyone on that's able to do it. So there's going to be two teachers on at a time and you only come in for like an hour. It was two hours today, but from next week, if we're still in lockdown, it's going to be an hour and a half at a time. You just come in and do like one activity. So like art or sport or science or whatever you want to do with your bubble. And then the next couple of teachers come in and you get to go home again, which is cool, except that it means that I'm probably going to be in every day instead of potentially, you know, like last time I ended up doing day on day off with the other bubble teacher for my bubble. Doesn't really matter either way. We still don't know if we're going to be in level three still next week or not. Anyway, after I looked after my bubble, we got some books ready to send home. I just ended up dropping those straight to my kids' houses, not for my whole class, but just for I think I ended up doing seven kids. So I've just taken them straight to their houses. They've got them. It was nice to kind of touch base with a few families as well, like the ones that I probably won't hear from over lockdown. And I know who those families are because they're the ones that I didn't hear from last lockdown. So we're gonna try and send out some devices to families that need them as well. I won't be in charge of doing that. The principal or the deputy will probably do that tonight or during the weekend, but at least they've got their books. So if nothing else, they can get a bit of reading done. Anyway, three more hours until we find out what's happening. I'm really looking forward to actually knowing for sure. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> Jonathan put too much milk in. <laughs> so he's spooning it out. <laughs> we're making the flatbread again because we still have a bit of curry left. <laughs> I'm teaching Jonathan how to make it. I'm surprised I remember it actually. Like we're doing this without a recipe. You can remember that. You can't remember fucking Google I've chat. made it, um, how many times? I think I've made it three times in the last week. So, um, yeah, I'm kind of remembering it now. Okay, then you put it in the microwave for like a minute. Go. No. You don't want me to film it? Of course not. And then like, I don't know, a little sprinkling of salt. Salt! <laughs> you turn the sound off. The salt is here. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, you just need to <laughs> do that over the bowl. Stop it! That's way too much. Don't put all that in. <laughs> And then you stir. And then if you're me, you put the flour away and then realize that you need it again. So. Yeah, I'm, okay, I'm just, you need to put we it. We filmed this yesterday, I don't see the point of it. Meh. Okay. She always makes I, this film. I shall leave you now. Someone help me. Goodbye. So we've just had the update. Um, the update is that Auckland is going to be staying in level three for the next basically two weeks, which means that school bubbles are still going to be a thing. So I'm, I mean, I'm waiting for an email from the principal kind of with some extra information, but it's most likely going to be, I'll be in every day for an hour and a half with a bubble along with one other teacher. So at least I'm not going to be like on my own for a whole day at a time this time. Anyway, it's just good to like know what's going on. Um, the dough has been plopped up there. So we've got to leave that for 20 minutes now to rest. And then we'll be able to have our same dinner that we had last night. Um, and yeah, maybe I'll even get a workout in tonight. I I'm just so cold. I've got the heat pump going, but the space is just so open. Um, so it takes forever. We are almost ready for dinner. I've just been um, vacuuming the house while we were waiting for this dough to set. And I had to empty the vacuum cleaner bag twice. All right. That's how long it's been. Get that. Since I've actually vacuumed the house. Okay, curry is hot. I was gonna chop that, wasn't I? Yeah. It looks beautiful though. Yeah. Good job. And tonight, instead of L and P, oh, they're already out. They're already out. Are they already on the table? Yeah. Lockdown only for these sorts of treats. Hello. Hello. Is it your dinner time? Yes. I know. I know. Excuse me, what are you doing under the coats? Hey, why did you go in there? Are you safe under there? She loves anything that hangs. She's always like loved hanging out under the washing lines. And when she was a kitten, she would like play with the towels hanging in the bathroom. <laughs> So this is just her jam.
through me for tonight. It was a pretty quick workout, but it was enough to get me nice and warm. It's been so cold today. I thought I was going to have to leave my little jumper thing on the whole time, but it's crazy what a quick little workout can do. By the way, I am wearing my Gymshark bra and then my tights are Amen. They are ribbed with the little cutout details. And then the jumper that I was wearing at the start is from Cotton On. It has the drawstring around the waist, which makes it really nice and flattering. I'm going to leave today's vlog here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you again next time.